Welcome to Kohler's Crazy Kitchen. I'm your host and cook, Peter Kohler. Today I'm going to be showing you how to boil lobsters humanely without any pain, suffering, anxiety, anguish, or screaming, on the part of the lobsters at least. For this dish, you're only going to need two ingredients, a pot of boiling water and a fresh, lively, and frisky lobster. I only use the freshest and liveliest lobsters. So my friend Angus is hauling the traps as we speak. But before we start on that, I'd like to talk to you about the philosophy of humane lobster boiling. Now, some people say there is no pain uh, felt by lobsters. And other people say that you can hear them screaming as they go into the water. But, but you know, the, the naysayers say that that's just hot gas escaping from the boiling innards. It doesn't really matter whether they feel pain or not, because in this kitchen we take the precautionary approach by assuming that they do feel pain and by taking corrective action. It's kind of like uh, global warming. It doesn't really matter whether it's happening or not, but if you assume it's happening, then you can take corrective action and you will be assured that the lobsters are not feeling any pain and the earth will not drown in its own spit. Just a quick word about safety for this project. One thing you're going to need is a good lobster bib. The, uh, the other thing that's uh, necessary is a safety helmet because uh, when these guys start thrashing around, there are uh, hard-shelled lobsters and uh, this can be quite dangerous. The type of helmet really is up to you as, as long as it's government approved. I personally like to uh, use a North Vietnamese regular army uh, helmet from the Vietnam War era. Final thing that you need is a good pair of scissors and that's to cut off the little rubber bands that fishermen put on the claws of the lobsters to keep them from killing themselves or taking off the uh, off your fingers. <clears throat> Some people swear that if you leave these on uh, and, and boil them with, with these on, uh, the lobster meat will have a slight tinge to it which tastes a bit like rubber. Now, personally, I think that's uh, unlikely, but, you know, there's a fussy eater in every crowd. So, I do it just uh, as a precaution. So, here we are uh, with uh, Angus's uh, catch from uh, one of his traps. They are definitely alive and uh, conscious. We will anesthetize them. We will demonstrate uh, how to anesthetize a lobster so that it can, will be totally unconscious and uh, oblivious of pain as it goes into the water. It's important to note that the anesthetic is non-invasive. It, um, it is not a chemical. There is no injection involved. It is completely organic and uh, really the only instrument necessary is your finger. The choice of finger that you use is really up to you. I, I prefer the, the tried and true um, and here we go. Now, the way to uh, anesthetize or perhaps more correctly hypnotize these guys is to 
place them on their heads just as so and to rub rub their head there this fellow now is mostly mostly dead he's not uh, completely dead he's just mostly dead which means he's partially alive but okay we're almost there almost there that's a boy you just relax there he is he's gone to sleep now he's gone to sleep now the water is boiling so we are ready to take our first crustacean and plop him in. There is no movement, no sound. He is unconscious and not feeling any pain. Our second lobster is pretty well anesthetized as well. There he is. Okay. So we will take him and put him in the pot with his buddy. To the next guy. Oh, he's a very frisky thing. The technique really is to hold him off the ground while you're uh, rubbing. And his, his limbs, his, his claws fall totally down. Fold them under him and then keep rubbing, keep rubbing as he falls asleep. And uh, another one bites the dust. That's three. We have one more left to undergo the procedure. He's frisky. Yeah, he's not ready for this. Let him hang. Let him relax. Let him relax his claws, then touch them to the board, fold them underneath him. Yes. Fold them underneath him. Set him down on his rostrum, which is the nose there. And there he goes. There he goes, ready for the pot. Totally, totally unconscious. Totally unconscious. That's right. Here we go. And the last one. Into the pot. With nary, nary a sound or movement. Oh, darn. I forgot to take the rubbers off. And so, uh, bon appetit. Without pain, without anguish, without screaming.